Enhance vision. Empower life. Vision Care. Former Director of the Criminal Investigation Department, Shania Besekar, gave evidence before the Presidential Commission of Inquiry probing these Tasandia terror attacks yesterday. Towards the latter part of the proceedings, the Chairman of the Commission asked the witness whether it was owing to a report by the witness and the former senior DIG in charge of the CID, Ravi Seneviratma, that the court conditionally released two of the four suspects on the 10th of April 2019, arrested over the discovery of explosives in Vanatavillu on the 16th of January 2019. The former CID director responded, quote, During a meeting with the Defence Secretary, then-Governor of the Western Province, Azad Sali, made a request to release the two suspects. But I clearly said that they cannot be released until investigations are over. Then, since IP Marasinghe, who conducted the investigation, concluded the probe and reported that the two suspects are not linked to the Vanatavillu explosives, I and the senior DIG consented to the suspects being released via the legal process, unquote. Then the senior state counsel asked the witness whether he handed over court produce to the foreign investigators who arrived in the country following the string of terror attacks. The response of Shania Besekra was that though two media institutions had given publicity to such a statement made by the chief inspector of the CID, Lalit Disanayake, he did not give court produce to a third party. He, however, added that the foreign investigators were later permitted to inspect the court produce via the court process. What's more, Abe Sekra went on to note that he had been in the police service for 32 years and that allegations levelled at other officers are not levelled against him, adding that he does not even receive half of the salary recommended by the police commission. In the meantime, the senior state counsel quizzed the former CID director on the forewarning given by foreign intelligence agencies, which was exchanged among intelligence units. In reply, Shania Besekra said, quote, I do not know whether Nilanta Jayavardhana properly communicated this information to former President Maitripala Sirisena or not, but it cannot be accepted that he did not inform these facts. I clearly know that the Director of the State Intelligence Service keeps the President informed on state security, politics, public protests and other matters on a daily basis. It is the original piece of information that goes to the President, so it cannot be that the President did not know about it. The President summoned us to the Presidential Secretariat to tell us not to give evidence before the Parliamentary Select Committee. There he said that he wasn't informed, but he did not ask from Nilantha as to why he wasn't informed. Unquote. Former Director of the CID, Shani Abe Sekra, went on to say, quote, None of the investigations revealed that the ISIS was behind the attack. The leader of a terrorist outfit has never been a suicide bomber and had died during an attack. The leader deploys followers for an attack. As such, Zahran dying as a suicide bomber is a puzzle to us since we identified Zahran as the leader during our investigations. It is a question to me whether a clandestine hand was behind the attack or whether another person or faction orchestrated Zahran. Unquote. With the testimony of the former CID director, the Presidential Commission concluded its evidence recording, which lasted over a year, with 440 witnesses giving evidence before it. For Ayush. Karabuneti Dantale Paya Shakti Mat Dati Palakata.